Hi folks, welcome back. Today I want to take you around a VW T6.1. Um, this is a new Caravelle. Uh, we do an awful lot of these. We probably don't video them and post them as much as we should, but here goes. So um, this is the latest version of our audio upgrade. So we've formulated the systems as we do with most things. And this is a System 4. So a System 4 consists of the Audison Voce front components and of course the free layer soundproofing system. So you can hear that is really, really solid. Now that's really important in terms of acoustics for the speakers to work properly, but also to reduce the road noise. And it just makes that door feel a whole lot better when it closes. So that's the Voce mid base in now. And in the top here, we've got the Voce tweeter. So we've got this rather funky um, little panel, which we route out and then we trim an Alcantara and we rebate the tweeter in there. So you can't keep them behind the factory grills because they're two directional. It makes a big difference in terms of sound quality. So if you put them behind the factory grills, everywhere you sit in a car, you move your head backwards and forwards, it totally changes the sound of the system. That's no good whatsoever. So you have to expose the tweeter in this particular installation, which is what we've done there. Now, because it's a System 4, it means it has a DSP. So it's the Hertz H8 DSP, which if display for it just sits up here. So there's a little panel up there. Again, we trimmed that in Alcantara. It doesn't have to go there, but that's where this customer opted for it. We've also incidentally added Thinkware Q800 witness cameras. So you've got a front and rear camera system there. Front cameras, 2K resolution. Rear camera, which you can't really see from here because it's tiny. It's 1080p, it's just sitting at the back there. The System 4 also includes a JL Audio subwoofer, which is tucked underneath this seat. The JL Audio amplifier and passive crossovers are tucked under that seat. You can't see anything at all. Everything's completely hidden. The sound, as you'd imagine, is quite amazing. These new head units are very, very good. Apple CarPlay, wireless Apple CarPlay, etc. The outputs are pretty clean. So once we stick that through the processor, which we do in the System 4, we can give you amazing sound quality without changing the head unit. Obviously, if it's an earlier model, we'd probably want to think about changing the head unit. If we change a head unit, you don't necessarily need a System 4. The System 4 includes a DSP. If we're going for an aftermarket head unit, like a Pioneer Double Din, we don't necessarily need the DSP. So then we can drop down to a System 3, which obviously saves some money. Get in touch if you want us to send you out a price list. We're in the process of updating the website at the moment, but I can tell you a System 4, which you're looking at here, is currently just under £2,500 fitted. So it's pretty good value. It's June 2021 at the moment. That could, of course, change, especially with everything that's going on in the world. We've also added rear entertainment. So we've gone for the Alpine 10 inch drop down screen. You can get bigger screens but not this quality. The build quality of the Alpine is above and beyond anything else you'll find, especially these nasty 13 inch screens that you find on eBay, which will last you a week and interfere with your DAB radio, like most other crap electronics. So that's the Alpine screen. You can add as many pairs of headphones at two as you want. This particular customer's opted for five. So you've got five sets of infrared headphones. They're very comfortable to switch themselves off if you forget to switch them off. You've got HDMI inputs on there. So as well as DVD player, you've got a HDMI input. So you can stream to it and stuff like that. Pretty funky bit of kit when it's not being used. It just closes up. We fit these properly, of course. So we put bracing right the way through the head, uh, the roof section there. So it's picked up on the um, strengthening in the roof bars. And then we build a plinth underneath that and screens mounted to that. So with our screens, you could swing, pick up the car by it if that was possible. So there you go. It's a System 4, witness cameras, rear entertainment. Oh, and we almost forgot, put a MetaTrack deadlock on here. So these little fobs for the deadlock. So that's a meta tracking system and a mobiliser. Quite clever. It actually enables you to deadlock the vehicle. So if you're leaving it somewhere dodgy, go to your mobile phone, select deadlock on your app, shut the vehicle down. Even if someone nicks your keys, they can't start the car. You can also program it so the vehicle won't start without the fobs, or you can set it so it just gives you a notification if the ignition is turned on without the fobs. So that's the meta deadlock. Definitely our favorite tracking system. Okay. Hopefully it's given you a little insight what we can do in a T6 or a T5. As I say, we see lots of them. We probably need to publicize them a little bit better. If you're interested in doing something with yours, just get in touch.